After a while, your Master 185 can be a little bit harder to pull start and you feel a lot of resistance when you pull the cord. And that might be because the decompressor port hole into the cylinder is blocked or is clogged with carbon deposits. Of course, there might be some other reasons like a flash starter, string problem or whatever, but this little decompressor hole is one of the main causes for very, very hard pull start. In this video, we will show you how to remove the cylinder head and clean that little hole. Stay with us. Hi there, my name is Stefan. Welcome back to the Paramotor Engine Maintenance Series. In today's episode, as I mentioned before, we will show you how to clean the decompressor porthole from the cylinder so your engine will start as easy as when it was new. Let's get into it. First, remove the spark plug. Next, remove the cooling shroud. Now remove the cylinder head, 13 mm socket. Always when tightening the cylinder head or when getting the nuts loose, make sure that you do it in cross pattern so you don't warp the, the, the cylinder head. Now carefully remove the cylinder head. Don't lose the washers. And voila, this is how our cylinder head looks like. This is how our piston looks like. To be honest, we have very, very little carbon deposits. Let's take the old O-ring out. Careful not to damage the surface. We will put this aside. We will clean it properly with gasoline. And now, getting the pull start cord and holding the cylinder in place because there is nothing that will hold the cylinder onto onto the onto the crankcase except the exhaust go put the piston down until you see the ports and here i don't know if you can see on the camera here this is a little hole that we need to clean now being very gentle with a 2.5 millimeter drill bit we will just make sure that our hole is going through the cylinder through all the way to the cylinder port to the exhaust port this hole was not that much of clogged now that this is clean we may start cleaning the piston and the, the cylinder head. For cleaning the carbon out of the, of the piston, what I like to use is just clear gasoline, scotch bright, or, or if you don't have the scotch bright itself, you can use abrasive parts from the dishwashing sponges or whatever, for sure you have such things in, in your home. So if you soak it into the gasoline, the scotch bright, it will be quite a long process. Hold the piston into place. You have heavy carbon deposits and they are not going very easy with the scotch bright. You can use a piece of uh, cutter blade, but please be very, very gentle because you can scratch the piston and we don't want that because we will create hot spots on the piston, but that's more details. So I will not go into them right now, but so please, so please be careful not to scratch the piston. Just very, very, very light. Use it for taking off only the carbon. Thank you. 
Now clean the surface where the cylinder head seals onto the cylinder, the same scotch bright. For this, I would really advise not to use the cutter blade, only scotch bright. Ah, this looks pretty decent to me. The compressor hole unclogged, piston cleaned. Now let's clean the cylinder head. Let's take the major carbon deposits down. Again, very, very gentle with the cutter bait. You can take the residues. Good, now that we have all the carbon removed, what I like to do is just use a little bit of brake cleaner so we can degrease the surfaces. This and this as well. Now that everything is clean and the carbon is removed from the cylinder head, piston and the compressor hole, we can go further with the installing everything back together. And now we will trash the old o-ring. We will install a brand new one. So sure that it's in this channel. Good, perfect. Everything looks pretty good to me here. Pay, pay a little bit of attention to the gasket in between cylinder and cylinder block because when we remove the head, the cylinder head may become a little bit loose and this gasket is prone to breaking. Our gasket now looks pretty good, so we can leave everything as it was before. Now take the cylinder head, please be very careful when you install it so the o-ring doesn't fall until it touches the head. Perfect. Now using a little bit of oil, grease the surface of the washers below the below the cylinder head nuts so we can torque them to the proper torque the proper specification it's good using a little bit of loctite just a tiny tiny bit when installing these nuts to their place. Now, using a torque wrench that is set to 18 newton meters, we will torque the cylinder head nuts. And I like to do very small steps before I reach that particular torque. Always in cross pattern, remember this. Just snug. I think this was the last step. Now we can go with the, the actual torque. Second done, third done, fourth done. Check it once more. Good, 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 good. Our engine is complete. We just need to put the cooling shroud back. Again, using just a tiny bit. One washer on top, one washer below. So this is one. Now using a torque wrench, which we will set to 25 Newton meters this time. We will torque the bolts that are holding the cooling shroud in place. Just to be sure, use a 13 millimeter wrench that we will hold in place the nuts that were already torqued to 18 Newton meters because these bolts are torqued to 25 Newton meters and we want to be sure that they don't over torque. 
so 25 newton meter here once here second again cross pattern third fourth and we are done just install the spark plug back Spark plug cap and we are done as you could see this is not that kind of a complicated operation it just requires a little bit of patience steady hand and a little bit of know-how now that you've seen how it's supposed to be done you can do it back home and your engine will run and start as new again thank you very much for watching please be sure to hit like and subscribe button because we'll have quite a few more videos to add to this series in which we'll show you how to change crankshaft seals crankshaft bearings pistons and so on i would really appreciate if you would share this video and especially with your friends you never know they may learn something new see you next time till then ciao